welcome back to my channel. As spring has rolled around, I've been a bit busier these days than usual, and as a result, haven't been spending as much time on my island as I'd like to. So, I thought it would be nice to log back in, take you guys along for a cozy little in-game vlog, and show you what I do on a normal day in Jeju. Spring edition. Hello, and welcome to my home. The first on my to-do list about every single time I log back in is to check my mail. Because it's been a bit since I've last played, I had a lot of mail to sort through, namely a lot of belated Valentine's Day mail from all of my neighbors, and a handful of spam from the bank and the HHA. I always save letters from mom, as well as any particularly sweet ones from my favorite villagers, aka anything from Zell. <laughs> Do any of you guys do that as well? Another task that I always complete when coming back is to change up my outfit. I'm definitely a little fashion girly in Animal Crossing and always love to dress up for the weather, season, or holiday, so today that meant finding something soft and pink to celebrate spring. I settled on this morning glory yukata to match the cherry blossoms, which are now in full bloom on all Northern Hemisphere islands. A big yay to that! And after getting dressed, I usually start to slowly chip away at my main task of the visit, plucking all of the weeds, cleaning up any overgrown flowers, and digging up any cracks in the ground around the island. Shout out to Bunny Day for adding that extra bit of spice to island cleanup this time of year with all of the hidden eggs. We all really love that, don't we? I try to take little breaks every now and again to enjoy the scenery, and really just take in the simple pleasures on my island. I was really happy on this particular login to see lots of green and color. It was such a welcome change from all of the snow these past few months. Along with my sightseeing breaks, I try to say hello to everyone that I see. While this is just a game after all, I always genuinely appreciate the kindness from all of the characters in just welcoming you back with open arms and sentiments of having missed you. Your island is always a place where your presence is celebrated and appreciated and man, that really goes a long way in making me feel good when I've been busier in real life. I was super pleased to see the cherry blossom trees scattered here and there around the island. They just look so nice and aesthetically pleasing. I wish the cherry blossom season lasted longer in the game because I feel like it always comes and goes just all too fast. I actually had the chance to see my very first real life cherry blossom trees last year while traveling and oh my god, they are just as mesmerizing in person. It really felt like something out of a movie. But they do come and go quite fast, so I suppose the game is supposed to reflect that. Beautiful things don't last forever, so it's important to appreciate them while we can. I kept myself busy patrolling around, plucking weeds here and there, and sighing every time my fossil turned out to be another bunny day egg, but such a spring in the game, right? Before I knew it, my pockets were full and I rushed over to the drop box to free up some space. I know that when you sell items this way, you get less money back in return, but in my opinion, the convenience is worth the price. Especially when you're running around cleaning things up, it's just easier to drop things off instead of going inside the store every single time. After trying to avoid Mr. Zipper Tea Bunny for quite some time, I finally gave in and listened to his speech. I've sped it up to spare you lovely people the time, but gosh, he really does have a lot to say. But he's not fooling me. We all can see the zipper in the back. We're on to you, fake mascot. We're on to you. Although I often miss events like the fishing tourney and villager birthdays, I always like checking the little town bulletin board. I've always thought it would be super cute if villagers were able to add little memos or comments on there for fun, like lost teddy bear if found report to bones immediately, or looking for friends to play hide and go seek if interested meet up on the beach at 3.30. Even if the content of the messages were just for fun, it would be super charming to read them and just to imagine all of the scenarios. What I do love is the little interactions between different villagers that you can listen in on. This one in particular was insanely cute. I'm definitely team bones in this situation. Who needs fancy food? Mac and cheese for the win. 
Even if I know it's been a while since my last login, I always feel kind of exposed when my villagers point out the amount of days that it's been since I last spoke with them. It's even crazier when I check back in with the older games. Hearing that it's been, for example, four years since they last saw me makes me feel some type of way. The mention of search parties always makes me laugh though. They used to lay it on thick, didn't they? After receiving a football via SkyMail, I decided it was time to free up some more pocket space and go get my fossils checked out. Because I've completed my museum's fossil collection, this step is just a formality to get them ready to sell, but it's still nice to pop in and see blathers. Depending on my mood, I'll sometimes go into the roost for a coffee, but I was feeling kind of lazy today, so I just went straight to sell my items. I always make sure to check the shops and see if there's any new furniture items that I can buy, but on days like today, I just leave after selling. Abel Sisters is a must visit for new clothes and accessories, and while I feel like I've got a pretty extensive closet at home, I always seem to find something new or see an item in a new color and end up leaving with a lot of new stuff. I make sure to say hello to Sable on my way out because she's just too cute not to talk with. I wish she would walk around the island more and take some time for herself, because I always feel kind of sad seeing her stuck behind the sewing machine, even if it is where she wants to be. While I don't always take the time for group stretching, on days like today where it's been a while since my last visit, it's a small way to feel more involved and get everybody together for a group activity. I remember participating in these, as they were once called morning aerobics, way back in the first game during the summer as a seasonal activity. I think it's amazing how they've brought it back in New Horizons to share the joy with new players and maintain the tradition of group exercise, as silly as it is. After stretching, I began completing some of the daily Nook Miles challenges by taking a picture with Bones and Zell, and planning to go deep sea diving later for some treasures. I stopped along the way to say a quick hello to Ioni and check out her blue gamer den of a home, truly a legendary setup on my island. I sacrificed one too many brain cells while cleaning up the hidden weeds and digging up all of the cracks in my mini fruit tree orchard and seriously began to wonder why I put them together in such a difficult to clean kind of a way. All suited up and ready to dive, I stumbled upon a very groggy gulliver on my beach and really contemplated if today was the day where I would help him again. Because I'm a sucker for the special items, I begrudgingly agreed to help and set off to collect the coveted communicator parts for what felt like the millionth time. I think I'll invest in some nice super glue to give to him on toy day so that thing will stop falling apart. At this point, I really feel like he's doing it to me on purpose. With a clear conscience, I finally set off into the water and began diving for sea creatures. Swimming and diving is probably one of my favorite resource gathering activities in the game. Every time I do it, I wonder why I don't do it more often. Do you guys have anything like that? Especially when I find a scallop or get a new mermaid DIY recipe. Gosh, what a pretty furniture series. I'm still working on getting all of it, but I'm excited to finally complete the collection one day. Once back on the island, I dried off and began wrapping up with my daily activities. I collected my nook miles, checked the town hall recycling bin for sloppy furniture series items, which I unfortunately did not find, and did my last round of selling at the drop box. Finally, I plopped down on a sunny spot near the water and felt grateful for a nice day with you all in Jeju. If you made it to the end of this video, thank you so very much for watching. As things get a little bit busier in real life, I really want to make sure that my channel can remain a comfy, cozy, and relaxing place for all of us to enjoy our favorite games. 
I'd love to do more of these kind of casual looks into my day-to-day -day gameplay because I really did enjoy this one and hope you did too. For more Animal Crossing and other cozy gaming related content, please consider joining our community and subscribing. I'd really love to have you here. Until the next one, stay safe, take care of yourself, and treat yourself to something delicious this week. Bye!